this is Koi TV. I'm Stefan, and I want in this video I want to explain everything about the oxygen level in your pond water. It's very important to have a, a maximum oxygen level in your pond water because, as we all know, uh, fish need oxygen to live, to grow, to move, to keep the health system, immune system up. The maximum total uh, dissolved oxygen in the water is related to the temperature. With high temperatures, the um, maximum total oxygen is low, and with low temperature, the maximum total dissolved oxygen is high. So, for example, with six degrees, quite cold, uh, you've got uh, a maximum of 12.08 milligram per liter. Uh, but with 26, you have uh, a maximum of 7.99 milligram per liter. So especially when it's hot, and it's quite hot today, so the water temperature is quite, quite high, uh, the oxygen level is quite low, so you need to put in a lot of extra oxygen so you can get to the maximum. Here, for example, at 25.7, the oxygen level on this spot is 7.6. Uh, 7.6. It could be maximum is 8.8.01. Uh, so it can be a bit higher. Uh, uh, yeah, 1.5 uh, milligram higher. But this is what I have now in this pond. This pond has uh, 200. 200 liter here, 150 here, and 80 around the, around the, the, the edge, around the side of the pond, and in the filter system, there's a 400 liter uh, per minute uh, oxygen uh, pump in the moving bed filter. I'm gonna uh, check if the, the water uh, in, the, in the pond itself has have all the same uh, measurements. Uh, at the moment, I have uh, only the, the trickle tower and bucket shower and the moving bed running, but I also have an extra 60,000 liter per hour pump that I can put on to, uh, to mix the water better. That's what's always on, but the last hour I, I put it off so we can check uh, if, if now it's not mixed, so I want, I want to see. So 7.6 over here. On this location, the uh, oxygen level is 7.5. I will show you 7.5. So uh, uh, 0.1 lower than in that side of the pond. I will check. 7.5. I'm really curious what happens when I put on the 60,000 liter uh, circulation pump on extra. That's normally it's always on. So we can see uh, what happens if the, the water gets better mixed or the oxygen gets mixed better. Uh, it's even, I had to put it on of course and then walk to the camera again and you can see uh, 7.6 uh, at once. So. Uh, that helps a lot to mix, it, mix the, the oxygen better through the water. Everywhere the same oxygen level. Now we know, now know uh, the level of the oxygen in the water, uh, in the pond water, is 7.6. Uh, I'm really curious what happens with the water, uh, or the oxygen in the water, uh, when it's going through a filter. So I've got the trickle filter. Over there we've got the bucky shower. There's a difference is this, this one is uh, getting 10,000 liter an hour, like uh, it's raining in this filter. And uh, over there is 20,000 plus liter uh, per hour. So it's more like a, a really strong shower. So bucky shower, trickle filter. This bucky shower, is using at the moment seven point now it's seven point 
five. So uh, also one point, no, 7.4. 7.4 milligram per liter instead of 7.6. So 0.2 less oxygen in the water. So this filter system is using uh, a, a lot of oxygen. Uh, I think there's a, a lot of misunderstanding in, in pond world, in koi world, where people say that their filter is uh, making oxygen, as in those trickle, filter, trickle filters or the bucky showers or the, the moving bed. But I think when uh, the bacteria are in, are, when they're doing their work, uh, the, the oxygen level is getting lower, even after uh, a four layer uh, trickle filter. 7.4. This is the uh, bucky shower. So more water is going through this filter system than the trickle tower, twice as, as much. And the uh, level in the water is still 7.6. And the level going out is 7.3. 7.3. So even more oxygen is used in this filter system than in that. So for me, that means that the trickle is, um, the bacteria in there are not working as well as the bucky shower. 7.6 now, uh, I'm gonna shut down the, uh, the system so we're gonna have a look what happens in five minutes of a system shutdown. Uh, see it as a power failure or whatever and we have a, have a look what happens in fi only five minutes of the oxygen level. So now only five minutes later the uh, oxygen level is 6.9 so uh, it was 6.6, .6, no sorry 7.6 so it's uh, 0.7 already uh, going down and I think when you leave this half an hour it goes uh, down to five something and I didn't test it any longer uh, last time but yeah even in five minutes 6.8 now already and going down but I don't want to stress the, uh, the coin so I'm gonna put on the system again and, and have a look what happens when we put it on how fast it goes up again. Now it's on. 6.8. This is real time, just so 6.8. Takes a while, the system needs to, water needs, ah, uh, 6.9, going up. Seven. You can see it takes a while to go up again, 7.2. So yeah, it takes uh, maybe one or two minutes to go up to 7.2. Five and the last bit always takes a, a bit longer. Seven three. Seven four. So in a few minutes it will go up to 7.6, so that is good, good again. We've got the uh, results for the bucky shower and the trickle tower, and I'm really curious what happens with the oxygen level in the moving bed uh, filtration system. In here we've got a vortex, it's just empty turning water, and then the next filter is uh, a moving bed helix, uh, 500 liter uh, of, uh, of medium. I'm, I'm really curious. Uh, come on.
This is the 7.6 in the Vortex. Now let's see what happens when we put it in the moving bed. This is the moving bed. And let's see. 7.1, 7.0 milligram per liter. So this uh, moving bed is using uh, 0.6 milligrams per liter. 0.5, quite a lot. So not only those filter systems like the moving bed and the trickle and the bucket shower, uh, are using oxygen, but also the beat filters, the chamber filters, they're all using uh, oxygen if there are um, bacteria doing inside, doing their work. And, and that's what you want, so uh, yeah, normally they take a lot of oxygen. If they don't uh, take a lot of uh, oxygen and, and sometimes produce, then it means the bacteria inside the filter system are not working or they are not there. So you need to, uh, you, know, you need to have a result like this to have a good water quality. And aeration of the, of the pond is really important. Don't uh, make the mistake to think, okay, I have a moving bed and I have a trickles or whatever filter. Uh, you need you need oxygen or yeah, uh, air in your pond as much as possible and you will see the koi are, will grow bigger and uh, they're more healthy so less medicine you need to do and, uh, and also a uh, whole disease, um, any bacterial infection are uh, much much less with a lot of aeration. So the next bit of movie is the uh, the test what happens with your oxygen level or the oxygen level in the pond water uh, when you're putting in medicine. Uh, and I'm not going to put in any medicine in here. Koi are really healthy, so I'm not going to do for scientists, for science, uh, just uh, uh, put some medicine in. I made a, a separate uh, aquarium uh, with full aeration and then uh, we tested two medicine and uh, you will see the results now. This is a test where we add uh, medicine to the pond water. We start with potassium permanganate and uh, we, we're going to see if the oxygen level drops. It's now 7.3, it's quite stable for an hour, no aeration and 21.5 uh, degrees. And uh, yeah, let's see what happens uh, when we put the uh, potassium uh, in, in the water. So now, 10 minutes later, 6.9 milligrams per liter. So uh, from 7.3, so 0 0.4, 0 0.5 now, 6.8, uh, uh, still going down, uh, the oxygen is, is going down because of the uh, adding of the potassium permanganate. So the, uh, it's really important to uh, aerate your, uh, your pond more, even more, when you're putting in uh, uh, yeah, potassium permanganate. Now we're gonna test the FMC. So another five minutes later, the oxygen level dropped even till 6.4, 6.3, I think. Uh, so it's really dropping. The next test is with FMC. This uh, water is also in the tank for about an hour. Uh, oxygen level is 7.6 and uh, I'm really curious what happens when I'm uh, putting in the FMC. Now we're gonna wait for about 10 minutes and see what the oxygen level in the water uh, does.
Now, 15 minutes later, the oxygen level is 6.4 milligrams per liter. Um, so the, uh, yeah, the FMC is also lowering the oxygen uh, in the water. So also really important if you use FMC, I think almost every uh, medicine, please use extra oxygen or air in your, in your water. As you can see, the oxygen level in the water is really dropping when adding the potassium permanganate and the FMC. So it's really important if you use those medicine, and I think in general all medicine, to, to get more aeration in your water. Uh, but also in general, without any use of uh, medicine, it's really important to have uh, high aerated uh, ponds. It's, of course, it's uh, more difficult to see your koi, but you can, yeah, you can shut it off for a while so you can see them or lower it. But uh, when you're not there, please keep as much air in your pond and you will see the koi are growing much, much bigger, are healthier and uh, thereby looking much, much better. The skin quality is going up, the water quality is going up and the, 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 the clearness of the, the, the water is also eh, getting much, much better. So my advice is put as much air in your water as you can. Thank you for watching. Uh, please like, share, uh, uh, subscribe to this channel and you will be the first to see the next video. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.